Previously, on Chosen Ones, Brandy uses his footnotes ability to look up both Theo and the audience, the latter resulting in a new set of red-eye tattoos appearing on the palms of his hands. Aviath approaches Brandy to discuss what he saw in the other timeline, and Brandy suggests they gather everyone to hear his story. At the pond, the Abergrim tiefling goes into detail about his upbringing, his escape, and his downfall, which eventually led to him being resurrected and discovered in Theo's barn. Weighed down by the atrocities both against Brandy and caused by him, Aviath proposes they go to the church and have him ask for forgiveness, which Brandy agrees to. Once at the church, Brandy pleads with whatever higher power is willing to listen, to let him keep trying to atone, and is greeted by a strange child with bright red eyes. While he isn't granted forgiveness, the child expresses understanding for why Brandy acted the way he did, and tells him he has progressed to Act 3. From the same branch and leaves Wild and free Living here in harmony Don't you see This is where you want to be When you leave The world is never what it seems If only we could travel back Three? What does that mean? I... I don't... I don't exactly, uh... know what that means yet. I assume it's good. I can only wonder what it means when, uh... The fact that when Arthur tore a book, which, I don't know, has acts sometimes, and that had to do with the universe, uh, I can assume that I guess right I don't I'm not sure it's something to do with uh, uh, the magic man from what I understand cuz every time uh, I haven't really brought it up I suppose but I've been noticing these uh, tattoos of mine have been uh, changing a bit. Changing good or bad? I assume good. They slowly changed place, but recently they've started to uh to fade a bit. Mm. Wait, aren't those tattoos supposed to be like your brands, right? So if they're if they're going away then Magic Man might think I don't need them anymore. As she smiles. And that's you know, that's all well and good. Um, I may have fucked up recently and got some new tattoos, but I don't think that's related to the magic man. <laughs> <laughs> like, looks into the palms of his hands. So, what kind of new tattoos, hmm? Are, may, are the eyes open or closed, Cassie? They are open and they are moving. <laughs> ah! Ah! Shut up! <laughs> Don't say they're moving! <laughs> what are, where are they moving? What are they doing? They're looking around the room. Brandy's like looking into his hands. And she's like, what are you looking at? And he sees the eyes moving. And he's like, yeah! Brandy, your hands are moving! <laughs> this is literally you look into his hands and they look back. <laughs> literally. literally. 
I want to imagine all of us like lean into Brandy's hands and then all of us do that. You know that anime thing where it's like suddenly they're freaking out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shui does freak out. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... Are they supposed to move? I don't fucking know. Wait, 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 wait. I guess. Brandy, 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 Brandy. Yeah? He goes up to Brandy. And he's like, don't, don't move. Okay. He's gonna poke his palm. High five. He's gonna poke his palm. What do the eyes do? They close. They closed. He withdraws his arm. They open. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I use that ability of mine. That uh, footnotes looking up something about a uh, being and uh, yeah it doesn't look like they like that very much or maybe they did I don't really know I can't get an answer on if this was a good or a bad choice really but they don't seem to do anything bad yet makes me quite uncomfortable considering yeah uh, <coughs> Yaya, you've been pretty quiet. Um, well, I was hoping that the answer would be more straightforward, but I'm very confused by what the gods did or what any of this means. <laughs> if I had, like, yes or no, which <laughs> one? <laughs> did they forgive you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? It's a straightforward answer. Yes, <laughs> they forgive you. No, they don't. Which one? <laughs> Yeah, literally, I'm just hoping for yes or no. No, they don't. I kill you. Yes, I don't now kill you. (laughs) (laughs) I think what they were saying, at least as far as uh, I could process, is that they maybe don't. I don't know that forgive is the right word, but they encourage me to do better because if they just forgave me and absolved me of my responsibility I feel like that would be the wrong choice you know I think it's important that I continue to do what I'm doing and continue to try and uh, be better I see well I don't know what this act 3 is but perhaps it's in some ways, a new chapter of our lives. A chance to start over. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Very well then, if you don't mind, let us begin the Oath of Redemption. Oh, yeah. I need you to kneel on one knee real quick. This won't be any injuries. There there won't be any injuries, right? As if I was sharpening his sword. sword. (laughs) (laughs) Shrink! No, it'll be fine. <laughs> no, he literally does that. Now, Brandy, which arm is your favorite arm? <laughs> God, no, but Brandy, Brandy will step from around the, you know, the altar and then like do as Aviath instructs. Yeah. So after actually pulling out his sword and be like, it'll be fine, he <laughs> gently <laughs> puts the sword on one shoulder, alarmingly fast. Like, oh fuck, he's gonna cut my arm off, and then he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All I need you to do is repeat after me. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, the huge wall of text in the chat. <laughs> repeat after me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pasted it because I was like, it might be hard to remember all this, so. God, it would be yeah. so good for you to actually read it out and for me to speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'll just, you know. <laughs> no, but I have, the, I have the tab open, so yeah, because I figured that was coming up almost immediately. How do I word this? It, the uh, way it's written. <laughs> the tenant of peace. Violence is a weapon of last resort. Diplomacy and understanding are the paths to long-lasting peace. Violence is a weapon of last resort. Diplomacy and understanding are the paths to... Longing, long lasting peace. You fucked it up, you died. Throws his sword to the ground, you had one job He explodes <laughs> instantly. Fuck! He turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. a pause, and then Avias just screaming as his helmet gets brighter. <laughs> <sighs> 
Uh, you can tell it's the start of a session. We're you can, because we're looping. out of it. We're not in yeah. the mode. <laughs> <laughs> I was so tempted. Anyways. I gotta make sure when I cut these together that, like, this, the the tone doesn't feel like such a huge shift. I may have to make it a different episode. Like, we might have to stop and start again because the tone <laughs> shift might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Yeah, okay. Innocence. All people. Wait. Bleh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all people begin life. Oh, all people life begin is what I read. <laughs> you want me to do it, Yaya? <laughs> Fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> innocence all people begin life in an innocent state and it is their environment or the influence of dark forces that drives them to evil by setting the proper example and working to heal the wounds of a deeply flawed world you can set anyone on a righteous path that was a lot yeah okay <clears throat> all people begin life in an innocent state and it is their environment or the influence of dark forces that drives them to evil. By setting a proper example and working to heal the wounds of a deeply flawed world, you can set anyone on a righteous path. Tenant of patience, change takes time. Those who have walked the path of the wicked must be given reminders to keep them honest and true. Once you have planted the seed of righteousness in a creature, you must work day after day to allow it to survive and then flourish. Change takes time. Those who have walked the path of the wicked must be given reminders to keep them honest and true. Once you have planted the seed of righteousness in a creature, you must work day after day to allow it to survive and then flourish. And tenant of wisdom. Your heart and mind must stay clear, for eventually you will be forced to admit defeat. While every creature can be redeemed, some are so far along the path of evil that you have no choice but to end their lives for the greater good. Any such action must be carefully weighed and the consequences fully considered. But once you have made the decision, follow through with it, knowing your path is just. Your heart and mind must stay clear, for eventually you will be forced to admit defeat. While every creature can be redeemed, some are so far along the path of evil that you have no choice but to end their lives for the greater good. Any such action must be weighed carefully and the consequences fully understood. But once you have made the decision, follow through with it, knowing your path is just. And, and I, I vow from, from this day, day forth, forth to, to be, be a, a better, better person. person. And then the Oath of Redemption is finished. And then I like to imagine the moonlight dramatically sort of lights up the room. Uh, is, are we at night time? Are yeah. We? I don't know. You said the sun was gone, didn't you? I don't remember. I don't remember oh, that either. I thought the sun was gone. The sun's gone, for sure. Yeah, definitely the sun is gone. For sure the sun is gone. It's a problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if there would be moonlight without a sun, but you know. We will say for the sake of the picture you have just painted that there is moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Just let it look cool, Cassie. God. Fucking really I was just cool. confused because you were like, and the moon because it's nighttime. And I'm like, it is? Since when? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. I guess. I control the weather. <laughs> uh, Good. You control the day tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I would note that, that there is still moonlight. There is still a moon, even though there's not a sun during the day. Mm. Oh. Wow, I wonder why. And then Aviath puts away his sword. You've done a good thing today, Brandy. I no longer see you as a plague bringer. You are, you're a good man now, Brandy. And you should be proud of that. Um, I appreciate that. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> yeah, he chuckles a little at that. Uh, he pats Brandy on the shoulder with a sort of upbeat look on his face. A well, little you can see of his face. That I can't see, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then he starts uh, walking towards the exit of the church, and he's like, Well, that's enough of that. Sorry to bring this up if it was a bad time, but I think it'd be nice to relax for a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think a little bit of relaxing would be <laughs> a little nice. I hug Brandy, and then I run after Yaya. 
I hug Shuey back and don't let him go. No, I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fuck you don't, Of bitch. course, Theo goes over to Brandy. Is he still kneeling or did he stand? I guess he was kneeling still. But he'll stand if Theo's coming over to him. Theo smiles up to him and he's like, I'm proud of you too, Brandy. I appreciate that, darling. <laughs> um, and he will grab arm to hold on to as they walk out. Hell yeah. Okay, I just want to say, when I was reading the wisdom tenant, like, I felt like he, to me, he felt like such an adult. Like, I don't know why, but it made him seem a lot more mature than, like, he sometimes comes comes off as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, make sure he emphasizes, must be carefully weighed, and consequences fully considered. I emphasize those words on purpose. <laughs> I was like, I don't want him to be a fucking murderer. I think a vibe's very mature. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's silly, but, like, I don't know, I respect this man. I do. I respect him too, and that's why she looks up to him. Theo looks up to him too, but you know that's because he's taller. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm just kidding. He also respect and look up to him uh, in metaphorical <laughs> sense. <laughs> okay, what we do next? We're relaxing. What do now. you do next? We relax now. For the ever? Or, no, I can't. No. <laughs> for the ever. Yeah, the game's over. We're done. Thanks, Cassie. For the thanks, ever. Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> I don't remember the last time my characters ate. I feel like it was recent, so. I don't know when the last time that you said you guys ate was actually, though. We definitely It was ate. breakfast. It was breakfast. No, I think Yeah, so. he ate. All right, all right. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Brandy, make a constitution save. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> what? Why? What did I do? Nothing. Uh... Go ahead. Oh, 20, shit. not natural. Then you're fine. You feel fine. The fuck was that, Cassie? Nothing, because you're fine. <laughs> Cassie, it was what nothing the fuck was that? Fine. Did I feel weird? Uh, not as hungry as usual, but that's about it. You're usually not hungry, so you wouldn't really notice. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to me? Ask the eyes in your hands. Oh, the fear. Okay, well, I don't notice. I'm fine. Yeah, you don't I'm notice. I'm just not hungry. That's fine. I don't like this. Okay. Well, cool. Anyway, um, I will have, as Brandy and all of them, like, leave, he'll, like, stop for a second and look to Theo and was like, um, hey, so, Estel mentioned that she, uh, thought we all had died, yeah? Yeah, I, I guess so. You think they told your auntie about that? Hmm. I don't know, I guess. Maybe want to go and clear that up? If they did, then yes, I would love... Well, either way, I would love to see her again. Both of them. <sighs> you want to do that now, or you want to wait? Um... Maybe first thing tomorrow? All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, with your, um spell that you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, uh, it'll be easy. Good, good. Uh, I could send him a message, too, if you need. Give him a heads up. Sure, sure. Uh, just warn them, just in case. Uh, tell them good news if they, um... Yeah, right. Uh, <clears throat> I will cast sending to Auntie Alice. I will say... Ready, Alice. It's Brandy. Theo's fine. We are planning to visit soon. We're coming first thing tomorrow morning. Hope everything is doing good. And that's enough, yeah. 23 out of 25, yeah. Trying to think how just kind of like a more average person would respond to that who isn't tied up in all this <laughs> bullshit <laughs> and was told that their nephew is dead so. what the fuck yeah I'm like what are you I'm trying to figure out what she would say um how long was Brandy with Theo at the farm it's like a month right like a month yeah okay okay <laughs> it would have been funny she was like who <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck the who's Brandy who the fuck is Brandy <laughs> What the hell's Brandy? Why are you talking about my dead nephew? 
Um, I would say there's definitely like that long pause, um, not before the spell expires, but like a long pause before you get a response that's basically just like very clearly like flabbergasted, just like, what the, what the hell, where, where are you? Who, you said this is Brandy? That's not, that doesn't sound right. The, what? It's just like, like that for the whole 25 words of just confusion. (laughs) 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 Okay. I'll send it again and be like, we will see you tomorrow morning. Alice, it's okay. I know it sounds strange. You'll see. Also, I'm dating Theo, but don't mention it. Bye. And that's it. You're dating Theo in the afterlife? Is this fucking ghost? <laughs> is Oscar doing a seance? What is happening? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> is Kakaru okay? <laughs> Kakaru okay? Kakaru died. We had to eat him. No, no, for the sake. fucking dead. <laughs> it's been snowing for There's for no days. sun. Just start saying things going on around her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kakaru's dead. There's no sun. Oscar's not <laughs> wild. <laughs> I'm I just like say to Theo, like, your aunt's lost. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Uh, F, uh, Theo, like, looks expectantly up to Brandy. Like, is everything, like, what was the, what was the response? She sounded a bit, uh, confused. I don't know that she fully processed everything. Considering it's a while, it's not a, every day that somebody suddenly, uh, speaks in your mind. But I warned her that we were gonna come, come visit tomorrow. Okay, well, as long, I mean, we tried. (laughs) Oh, shit, no. I should, uh... The moon is out today, yeah? It is, yes. It's not full. It looks like it'll be maybe two days before it's full. Okay. Um, I will look to Shui, then. Be like, Shui, Dashi's still in the moon, yeah? I told Master Libris about that. I totally forgot. You wanna go get her? What? How? It's, It's not a full moon. I think I could go there. Really? He says, and he like runs up to Brandy. Can you really? I think so. Are you sure? It seems like it would be pretty hard to jump that high. <laughs> I can jump pretty high, partner. Well, okay. Go ahead and try, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, if y'all want to come along, I suppose. I mean, I imagine Shui wants to go, obviously. But if you two want to come as well. I think I don't want to get separated again, actually. I was going to let you two, but I don't want... I don't... The risk... It's okay, partner. Yeah. He hugs Theo tighter to him. What about you, Vi? I'd love to as well. Sounds like fun. Cool. All right. Everybody, uh, gather around. Hold hands. Wait, now? Now? Yeah, unless you had something you need to do. No, let's go. Okay. Hold hands. Are we going into the moon? To the moon! Yeah. Uh, Brandy will... Fly me to the... Jump me to the moon. Brandy will uh, gather everybody around and just say, yeah, he'll just be like, to the moon. Uh, and he'll snap and cast plane shift to go to the moon. Okay, cool. don't mess up because I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> Apparently it's hot down there. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So does that just work instantly? There's no rolls. It's not teleportation, right? E. Wait. Ew. This might be a bad idea. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> We're going to hell. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I'm realizing. Mm, yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Wait, never mind. Scratch uh-huh. all that. I fucking totally forgot. Wait, okay, what? What you forgetting? What's the important thing you're forgetting? I can go there. Okay, I can go there. We'll be there for eight hours, Shoei. What? <laughs> oh, because you used a spell slot. You can't get back. It's, yeah, because it's a mystic, it's not a spell slot. It's a mystic arcanum. <laughs> oh, so you can only do it once. Uh-huh. For long rest. So you have to wait uh, for eight hours there afterwards. That's up to you then. That's up to you. If you want to wait two days and go inside the moon, or if you want to be stuck there for eight hours. And that also means I can't immediately teleport to Alice. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we kind of already made plans. <laughs> <laughs> Brady gets everyone hyped to go. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, wait. <laughs> I just forgot that that's... Oh, fuck. That sucks. Shit. Wait! Mm -hmm. Hold on. Are we retconning? Wait. No, wait. I can do this. You know what I can do? Mm -hmm. What can you do? I could choose to banish... I could cast Banishment and banish Shui to the moon. <laughs> for how long one minute a minute yeah be like go to the moon real fast grab Dashi and come back <laughs> I don't think that's how banishment works I don't think you can yes, take someone is. with you with banishment no I'm not banishing myself I can send no, Shui to the moon I don't think Shui can grab someone and have them be banished with him back I guess Shui, why didn't you take fucking plane shift? He can't get it. It's not a bard spell. Oh, yes, he can. Like... It's a bardic secret. No, it, uh, it is. No, it's not. It's a um. Oh, you mean a magical secret? It should be. Yeah. Magic. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. That sucks. I fucking totally forgot about that. Plane shift sucks. You had so many excited ideas for it. I did. I was so excited for this. No. Okay. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna cast sending to Arthur. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm going to I'm going to make this work. I'm going to cast sending to Arthur. <laughs> okay, you, you cast sending to Arthur. Hey Arthur, you want to come to the moon with me real quick? You can teleport, right? <laughs> he can in fact teleport. You would be correct. Um, uh-huh. I'm going to make this fucking work, bitch. <laughs> Let me double check before he responds. Um I might also want to know if I also has banishment. I don't know if that would help. You double banish Shui. <laughs> Double you banish. banish Huey and you banish me and then I can plane shift us back. <laughs> That's so many steps. I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm nice. making banish, it work. Banish, grab Dashi, plane shift. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Before we get re-banished. <laughs> I'm gonna make this shit work. <laughs> okay, but if you plane shift while you're banished, I feel like something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> I can't, You, I wouldn't be able to plane shift while I'm banished anyway, because yeah, okay. it doesn't let you take actions or reactions. Hold on, let me look at Arthur's sheet really fast before he answers you. That bitch better have fucking plane shift because literally- He has teleport. He has to have plane shift because he's literally shifted into other planes before. Come on. Hold, no, let me look at his stuff for a second, please. <laughs> He does have it, yes. Yes! So I guess after a hesitant response, you get, um... Because I think he was... He looked like he was trying to set up his lab with the last place he had been. Uh, so, actually, that might be a good point. Isn't there a chance sending won't work if he's on a different plane? Yeah, I'll roll. It's a 5% chance, so... Nope, it works. Okay. Um, and I don't think you know if he's on another plane. Um, you just, yeah. Well, now you do. Yeah. Because I, I had you roll. But <laughs> I mean, yeah. I assume he is. Um, right? You want to go to the moon right, right now? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, no, no, roll again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to go to the moon to get Dashi out because Shui needs her. The longer she's in there, the more dangerous it is. Yeah, it works. Okay. Um, okay. Give me like five minutes. Where are we meeting up? On the stage, I guess. Sounds good. Okay, we should be good to go. Um, <laughs> they're still holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Brandy's like, I just missed y'all. Shui like opens his eyes and he's like, we're not He's like, this isn't the moon. It would be. It is very in character for Brandy to realize, like, oh, shit, I do have this teleporting spell, but I can't. Oh, fuck. Wait. Brandy, is there something wrong? No, nah, it's fine. Uh, I can teleport now. Pretty far. Uh, but I can only do it once every uh, eight hours, unfortunately. So I need a bit of Arthur's help, but I'm going to make this work. With the two of us, we can get anywhere on any plane and back. I could get us to the moon. I just, we'd have to be there for eight hours for me to get us back. Teleportation, that makes a lot more sense than jumping. Aviath was like crouched, like ready to jump. 
<laughs> He's like, I can fly. If the plan is I'm going to carry you all up like I'm down to try. <laughs> Brandy was like, to the moon. And Avi took that as his cue to jump. <laughs> 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 he starts flying and like half of you get dragged up <laughs> to infinity and beyond <laughs> I made a miscalculation of my abilities that's all we gotta go to the stage Earth is gonna meet us there alright okay I'm sorry I'm a fucking moron I didn't I forgot that I can only do this so much that's okay Brandy you just got excited about helping yeah walks over to the stage in shame I will be the one to teleport us to the fucking moon, but <laughs> Arthur can teleport us back. <laughs> His pride. Yeah. Arthur is like me calling and be like, hey, dad, come pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the stage. Arthur's there. He's got some like gloves on. Like you clearly interrupted him in the middle of doing something. And he's just like, where are we um, going? What do you have the gloves on for? Oh, I was just in my lab. It's just a safety precaution. What were you doing in your lab? Science things? Chemicals? Does that sound true? You can do an insight check if you want. Uh, fuck this man! Don't lie to me, Arthur. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, Arthur seems like a nervous enough person that that makes sense cool. that he'd follow safety precautions. Like, <laughs> Cool. Yeah, he will nod and just be like, uh, I am going to warp us up to the moon. I just need you to bring us back. Okay. So everybody hold hands now. I, I've got it working now. Sure. Going into a god's realm uninvited. I'm sure that will be fine. I cast sending to fucking Winona. <laughs> at Winona. You will have to do the same uh, rule. Yeah, I know. Fucking so much prep time. I just want to do a cool thing. Okay, cool. It's gonna get through. Uh, he will say, "Howdy, Winona. It's me, Brandy. We met briefly. I'm gonna come up to the moon to grab Dashi, if you don't mind. See you soon." Brandy, I don't know. Brandy, how are you coming into the moon? <sighs> Shit, people just can't. I'm gonna teleport there. I'm gonna... I will be there shortly with Chewie. You know Chewie, right? Chewie! Yes. He's coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry she's like this! <laughs> I have him unlimited, so yeah. Yeah, she's it's just, just the gonna... rolling. Yep, yeah. it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm coming with Shuey and a couple of his friends. I'm a good friend of Shuey's. We'll be there soon. Okay. See you soon, Brandy. Cool. All right. Enough of this bullshit. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so this. proud. Thanks, I've done it. I'm just imagining when Brandy's <laughs> casting sending, he's got like his hands on either he's just like growing temple. More, it's like, just like literally like <laughs> you see the frustration on his face growing, like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. Uh but yeah, now that that's done, he'll be like, Alright, now hold hands, everybody. Okay. And let me double check this spell, let me read it. You and up to eight willing creatures link hands in a circle and are transported to a different plane of existence. You can specify a target destination in general terms, such as the city brass on the elemental plane, blah, 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 blah. You appear in or near that destination. Okay. And it does say to be able to, it, this is a component thing that ca costs 250 gold. It looks like you can spend that um, and then just do it whenever. But I will note that because we do need to do components. So make sure before you cast it for the first time that you spend that 250 to have the item that you need to cast it. Yeah, I have more than enough gold to cast it because I bullied Arthur into giving me money. Yeah, I'm not worried about that being an issue and putting a wrench in your plans, but we do do gold costs you still have to spend, so yeah. And then just put in your inventory somewhere, metal rod for plane shift or something. Okay, we will do. So he links everybody's arms together and is like, all right, here we go, to the moon! And then he will cast plane shift. All right, and you all go to the moon. 
we do that thing in the movies where um we go through that warp hole thing where it's like all colorful oh, yeah. and we're all I, I sliding was the down. Same thing. Like, oh, God, ah. I was the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, is he excited? <laughs> is he scared? Mm. You guys appear inside of the moon. For those who have not been here before, it is a big black expanse of, a, of like the ground with just like ripples where you're standing, almost like water. And it's just an entire empty void around you. Uh, but you do see kind of in the distance a woman with the head of a rabbit dressed in all white, sitting on top of this water with a little tiny white butterfly kind of fluttering around her head. He bows immediately. She sees Winona. He's like, Winona! And he runs. Julie! <laughs> I did it! I apparated! No, I'm stopped. She's like sitting on the ground still. <laughs> doesn't get up at all. <laughs> Who are these people? They're my friends, he says. Um, Once he like, you know, like gets closer to her and stuff. Um, and he's gonna like point him out. That's Brandy, and that one's Yaya, and that's Theo. And Arthur's here too. Oh, and Arthur's here. Sorry, Master Arthur's here too. And Arthur's here too. <laughs> <laughs> you do see her kind of like cock her at her head, like she seems confused to see Arthur, uh, and he's just like, uh-huh, like does a little wave, like. <laughs> you look familiar. Looks to Arthur. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't know. <laughs> Shrugs. <laughs> Fucking liar. First time in the moon. You guys, you should all be bowing. Oh she gives a tiny little well, bow. Well, she doesn't. She doesn't know she's a god. So there's no like Arthur's whispering me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but still, it's respectful. She does like you know go up to an and give her a hug. She very uh, gratefully takes it and gives you like big strong hug back. <laughs> Even though she's sitting, you feel her kind of, like, lift you a little bit. <laughs> it, it's been a long time, right? Since I last saw you. Has it? When did I last see you? I think at least a hundred days ago, right? Or more than that. No, more than that. hundred days. Hmm. He nods, um, and he's like, it's been a really, really long time. Where's Master Dashi? And he's looking around. Master Dashi! Oh, the butterfly. Oh. <laughs> she, like, points to the butterfly that's, like, fluttering around. I would note, she is not pure white. She does have, like, on one of her ears, you notice, um, like, a little bit of black kind of still on the tip of one of them. Okay. It's not a full moon. Oh, yeah, it's not a full moon. And he's like, wait, Master Dashi's there? She's the butterfly. There she goes. She's gonna reach out towards the butterfly? It lands on your finger. Can he feel like a, a dashi presence from it? It just looks like a butterfly to you. Okay. Like it doesn't yeah. have, it does, it's supernatural in nature. Like it's yeah. definitely not like, a, it leaves like a little like, almost like fairy dust trail behind it as it moves. Uh, so we, dashi came to you. Uh, well, no, no, do you know how to, you know, turn dashi back? She's been keeping me company. That doesn't answer my question. She's safe here. Is she? I'm safe here. <laughs> you are, but now she's... N- <laughs> Just remember what Arthur said, like, she doesn't know she's a god. Uh, she's a little different. Because she's a butterfly. Yes, because she's a butterfly, and this butterfly hasn't eaten in a very long time, I imagine. She doesn't have to. I'd imagine she does. I was told that my Dashi shouldn't be in the moon too long. That that she might, I don't know, die or something if she's up here too long. She wouldn't die. I'd say quite the opposite. She could live forever if she wanted. Did you come to take her away? He looks at Winona. I... I think I'm the one who sent her here. Um... And if Master Dashi wants to come back, then I think that should be her choice. 
at that, Theo has been vice gripped onto Brandy, but um, he will ask Brandy in his mind, Do you think that you can cast sending to Dashi? I don't know if it would work. That's a good question. At which point he will cast sending to Dashi. I would say it does work. Uh, You're on the same plane. Uh, Dashi, are you there? Do you want to return to our plane with Shui? You does go through, you don't get a response. Dashi, he'll cast again. Same thing, you can feel that it goes through, but you don't get a response. Butterfly's wings kind of gently flutter a bit. He squints, clearly worried at that, and looks to Theo, and will say in Theo's mind, I can feel the spell going through, but Dashi ain't responding. Hmm. I suppose she's not able to, then. (sighs) My worry is she's been like that for too long. How did you all get here? Oh, Brandy brought me. You want to take Dashi out of the moon? Just for a little bit. I'm sure she misses home, and we can always come back. Can you take me? Can we? Turns around and looks at Brandy. Or sorry, and Arthur. <laughs> Can we? Avayeth stands up and he says, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure that's a great idea. Why not? But she also says, why not? <laughs> <laughs> they say it at the same time. <laughs> I mean, the gods have been fighting over Winona and the moon for a while now. It's I don't know if we should get entangled in that conflict. Winona. Yeah, that's your name. Did you forget again? Avayath raises an eyebrow. Why are they fighting over me? What did I do? You, I don't think you did anything. Then it's not up to them to decide if I stay here. She agrees. You're safe here. Is the thing. You're safe. Safe and happy are different. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know if we can protect you. I don't know if we're strong enough to do that. I can protect myself. I'm gonna cast sending to Arthur and be like, Hey, what happens if we bring the moon god out of the moon? I don't know. The moon... <laughs> the moon was made for her. Specifically. Mm-hmm. Uh... So what? Uh happens if we take her out. How pissed do you think Dara would be? I honestly don't know. The the It's always said, passed down through folklore and things like that, that it is impossible to see inside. No one can see inside. No one can go inside. I don't know if she would know this. It is impenetrable. Except that we're here. He like looks at you with a smile. Yeah, I was about to look at him and be like, how the fuck did we get here then? Good question. It's supposed to be impenetrable. <sighs> I don't think anyone's ever thought to try to go inside in this particular method. Or, for some reason we can now, and that's concerning in its own right, if the barriers that are in place are failing. Also, I thought she wasn't supposed to remember anything. Mm hmm. There's a whole lot going on right now. I don't know how good a de- idea that is right now, at least. I think we need to know a bit more about this situation before we can make that call. Come on, she just wants to see the world. I have a question, I guess. Um, I tried to contact someone before but instead I got you. Mm-hmm. He looks like Arthur to see like if there's any recognition of what Brandy's saying on his face. No, he doesn't seem to have any. I was trying to get in contact with a person named Libris, and... And you got me? Yeah. I don't know a Libris. 
you do hear next to you, Arthur, out loud, just go, That's it! Like, 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 <laughs> that's what it is! Like, <laughs> Like he's connected dots. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking like jumps like twenty feet in the air, like fucking shocked when Arthur just suddenly like fucking screams that. That's why like, she wouldn't let me read her spark. She doesn't have when he's like thinking out loud, like What? What? Huh? Did you just say what? Sorry, I got excited. I've been trying to figure that out for a very long time. Was that that is ridiculous. But then she's not. He's just he's still thinking. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's not that. And as as he's saying that, you see Winona like slowly take, start to take off her head. <laughs> like, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Um, and she like gently places it next to her, and you see very fast like as she's taking it off. Like there's definitely something underneath. Like it's it's maybe like a moment of horror when you're like she's gonna lose her head, mm-hmm. but like you see like hair kind of fall out underneath, and you see uh, that same person that Shuey saw before with the striking resemblance to Libris, and still looking at you and blinking with like these very bright blue eyes. What does she look like? Uh, that. That. You. Hey, Shui, how long have you known about this? Oh, she showed me before. And you didn't tell any of us? I told Master Libris. <sighs> what did she say? Yeah, how did she <laughs> respond to that? Uh, not much of anything. She just, she just kind of, I don't know, blew me off or something. There's someone who looks like me down there who is doing what exactly? That's a great question, really. I don't know what Libris is doing. Vibing? That's not fair. <laughs> Some Sometimes people just look alike. It doesn't mean there's any connection. He lies, said knowing damn well that there's some weird <laughs> connection going on. <laughs> yeah, she does look very upset at the prospect that there is someone who looks like her down on Earth while she is here. <laughs> or not Earth. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you sure we can't just take her out of the moon for a little bit? I'm afraid she might not want to go back if we take her out for a little bit. I don't know what the consequences of taking someone like Winona out of the moon that she's supposed to be in. I'll take the blame, whatever happens. I'll be in trouble, not you. <laughs> you just try to sh- a god? <laughs> 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 Is that what I heard, Ripley? <laughs> <laughs> no. Brandy's making a habit of shushing gods. <laughs> he, he is getting into a habit of telling you to shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this man fears nothing. Uh, see, that sounds nice in theory, but we we are absolutely to blame given we're the ones who did this and came here. And I feel like that'll be fairly obvious to any outsider looking in on the situation. No one ever comes here. I mean... Looks to Arthur, like... you. We can take people here more often. We can take Shuey here more often, yeah. Eventually, won't you... Stop coming, though. Eventually. And I'll still be here. Well, that's... I don't think it's fair that she gets to be trapped in the moon. It's... It's like a prison. I don't... I understand that, but this is something... We're not... It's not our decision to make this judgment. Incurring the wrath of the gods... I mean, not only could get us in trouble, but could get a lot of innocent people hurt as well. Why do the gods care about some rabbit trapped in a moon? (laughs) Good question. (laughs) We would have to ask the gods about that. Yeah, we'd have to get into a conversation with them. Did I do something wrong? Is this a punishment? Is it a prison? Mm, No, it's them. As far as I'm aware. But I don't know the full breadth of the, you know, of everything going on here. She seems to be thinking for a moment. And then she turns her head to Aviath. 
Why did you bow when you saw me? Uh, you fucked up. That's, it's just a formal introduction. Roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he's not lying. <laughs> he is hiding something. <laughs> Technically. Nine. Mm, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> nine. Yeah. <laughs> she looks to you and seems to be kind of thinking for a moment. And then, like, you see her eyebrows, her eyebrows raise. Am I a god? You, you didn't know that? He looks to Arthur <laughs> for guidance. Arthur's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Arthur's got his hands together and he's just like, you all told me to come here. I don't, I have no idea really exactly what your plan was. <laughs> it got a lot more complicated suddenly. You didn't, you didn't know that? No. Um, well. Your argument is that you have to do what the gods say, right? That you don't want to upset them? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't turn. Okay, ma'am. Let her finish. <laughs> What, how do you respond to my <laughs> Brandy, calm down. <laughs> it's it's not our choice to make. The gods the gods are the ones in charge. That's just how the world is. Okay, then take me out of the moon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Abiath. That's why I didn't want to answer that question. Hmm. It's not so much that they're in charge, it's more so we're afraid of incurring their wrath. As, uh, we've stated a couple times. You see her, like, her try to, like, puff her, like, she stands up and, like, she's, like, like, 5'4". <laughs> she's not very tall. Um, and she's just, like, I can be wrathful. Stop making her cute. Shut up. <laughs> when you get back to have someone, she'll fucking drop the moon on you. Fucking <laughs> like Majora's mask. Literally, the moon's gonna fucking. <laughs> Literally, I was about to say, fucking Majora's mask ass about to fucking crush me. God. I'm sure you can be. I don't doubt your abilities at all. I'm just. We already are on. Uh... I feel like. Some of us might be on some uh, watch lists under the gods already. Kind of like looks to his hand to see if the eyes are open or not. They are open, and they do also seem to be looking at Winona, and Winona seems to see them too, and cocks her head at them the same way that she cocked her head at uh, Arthur. We're already under surveillance, and I don't know that uh, we want to get on too many more gods' bad sides. She looks at you, and you can see that she's very clearly kind of, like, upset at this point. There's, like, the bare scent of, like, tears in her eyes, and that butterfly is kind of, like, fluttering around her. And she looks to you, and she's like, You can take her out of the moon when you take me. She snaps her fingers, and the butterfly vanishes. Thank you to our high tier patrons Dio Miranda, Zab, Arcaeusa Druid, Mad King Max, Claytor, The Hat Man, Charles, Jessica Long, Z, Vessel, Vesect, and Mr. Bakudan, as well as our Kickstarter backers for this season. If you haven't already, make sure to like the episode and leave a comment, and stick around for the blooper that's about to play. You can get access to even more on our Patreon. We'll see you soon, fellow Sparks. Thanks for listening. Brandy. Uh, your voice mod's not working. Just kidding. That was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to test it. <laughs> <laughs> the one time you didn't test it, it didn't work. That's wild. It's really funny. <laughs> it's me. I was here the whole time. Okay. There you are. This the start of the session of is a course, shit show. I I did it is I did change it in audition. I forgot to change my settings in Discord so that you'd hear it. Um, mm. They still set up just my Yeti and not uh, the Garage Band. So oops, but I'm damn. Uh-huh. That's Make so sure awkward. Everything's... I don't want you to hear me do the voices when they go to the voice <laughs> on them. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if it's like, if it's like, it makes me feel like naked. Like, I can't. <laughs> it's fine. And the audience, like, I don't have a recording of me doing it without the voice mod because no you're gonna have is, get to save that for a blooper to fucking put up <laughs> in a year. <laughs> Morning soon, the light dims fast here. Should we go outside again one more day, my dear? Why don't we just stay as the familiar fades away? Things are the same day. Running from stranger, where are you hiding now? Don't you waste this chance? Do we have time for this, dear friend? How could we ever run out now? All that we have is this moment. Let's make time. the end of this story time for the start of our new life time for us all to come back for fate's last encore will we find out what this all means it means a lot that you're here now let's make the most of this shall we we have time